It's the stuff of nightmares, wreaking havoc on our world. A monster made of... clothes? Like most horror stories, you might not see this one coming. <laughs> Fashion is something a lot of us enjoy, and shopping for a new outfit can be a lot of fun. But experts say there's a dark side to our love of clothes, especially when it comes to... Fast fashion! <laughs> fast fashion is basically cheap, usually poorly made clothing that's made in bulk. It exists so we can afford to buy new clothes regularly that keep up with trends. But it wasn't always this way. Back in the old days, clothes were made at home or by small local businesses. And they cost a lot, so most people only had a few different outfits, which they would often mend or restyle. But innovations like the sewing machine and synthetic material meant clothing could be made a lot more quickly and cheaply. So it was a lot easier to be all trendy. And the monster of fast fashion was born. With the help of international trade. Now I'm sure you've looked at a tag on a piece of clothing before and seen that it isn't made here in Australia. <sighs> Companies can cut costs by having clothes made in developing countries, where people are often paid lower wages. That's helped grow the economies of those countries and give a lot of people jobs. But it's also led to some problems, like poor working conditions and pollution. Making clothes uses a lot of natural resources, like farmland and water, as well as a lot of chemicals and energy. The industry is one of the biggest polluters in the world, accounting for about 10% of global carbon emissions and nearly 20% of global water pollution. And then there's the clothes we throw out, which often end up in landfill. Even when we donate to charity, they can end up in landfill overseas. The ABC's foreign correspondent tracked down one of the places that ends up with a lot of our trashing. This mountain of rubbish in Ghana in West Africa is estimated to be 40% unwanted clothing. 15 million used garments are shipped here every week to be sold and reused, but a lot of them just aren't worth holding on to. And locals say that's the result of poor quality fast fashion. So at this point, you and I are wondering, how can we stop this ever-growing fast fashion monster? Well, some companies are trying to find more environmentally friendly ways of making clothing or recycling old clothes, kind of like how we recycle plastic. And many governments and organisations are trying to build better working conditions and environmental regulations. But defeating this monster also comes down to you and me, thinking about what we buy, buying less and holding on to our clothes for longer to slow down this fast-growing problem. <laughs>